Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, the cold front continuing to march through northwest Florida, and it is still triggering some showers and even a few thunderstorms in Okaloosa County. Here we go. Some good downpours are right over Crestview through Eglin Air Force Base all the way down to Fort Walton Beach. But again, these storms are firing right along the front itself. So after those showers and storms move through, you'll notice your winds will go from southerly to westerly to northwesterly within about an hour after the rain moves on through and your temperatures will start to cool down. Now they are still mentioning a risk of maybe some brief high wind gusts within some of these showers, but at this point it appears that we will stay below severe limits with any showers that try to form here for the rest of the afternoon. So the high rise predictor shows those showers exiting. Northwesterly winds will continue, maybe a rogue sprinkle here or there through the rest of the evening and overnight, but skies will remain mostly cloudy. We will start to see the cloud cover scour out a bit by the time we head towards tomorrow morning. Right now it's overcast looking live from our studio cam off to the north and west. Over to Orange Beach and the sweat tires cam, the seas have been kicked up here because of this cold front moving on through. And from Pensacola Beach, that's a view from the Portofino Resort. We actually saw a few glimpses of blue sky this afternoon, but overall mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, we've now eliminated your rain chance, so you can leave your green and Phillips umbrella at home. As we move you through 9 p.m. tonight, 57 degrees. Mostly cloudy and a bit on the breezy side. And tomorrow, starting off with some clouds, 50 degrees at 7 a.m. with more of some scattered cloud cover with some sunshine in there. But temperatures will be cool. Highs barely getting to around 60 tomorrow afternoon. Right now, very big contrast in the temperatures. As warm as 76 in Destin, still ahead of the front. 63, so it's 13 degrees cooler behind this front over towards Leakesville, Chatham, Loosedale, Mississippi. It's 64 in Mobile and 69 degrees in Bruton. And you can see that wind changing direction still onshore flow here in Okaloosa. Everyone else, we've transitioned to a northwesterly wind, still averaging around 5 to 15 miles per hour, depending on your location. And there's that cooler air sitting just upstream. Temps falling now into the low to mid 50s for Jackson up towards Tupelo. And eventually that will surge into our area later on tonight. So lows tonight. Some of us will wake up to 40s tomorrow morning, including Grove Hill, Monroeville around 47. We'll start off at 49 in Fairhope and Mobile. You'll start off your Wednesday morning in Pensacola at 52 degrees. So you will need those jackets out and it's going to feel quite cool throughout the day with some mid and high clouds, high temperatures in the 50s and 60s for tomorrow afternoon. And then we look ahead to your Thanksgiving and to your Black Friday. So if you're heading out, Thanksgiving is looking even cooler and we do throw in a late day shower chance at 20%. A quick little system moving on through may provide us with a couple of showers Thanksgiving night into Black Friday morning around 45 degrees. And then we'll see temperatures hover right around 61 for the afternoon. Rain chance is pretty slim as we move long term. Highs will stay cool though in the 50s and 60s. Morning lows in the 40s and 50s. So hopefully you have the uh, jackets and the sweaters ready to go. It is certainly looking like sweater weather for your Thanksgiving. Now 